What do you know about Linux air conditioner problems? There are reports of the fusible links and wire harnesses catching fire. I thought it was bad when I heard of refrigerators catching fire, but an AC is just as bad. The evaporator coils tend to fail after three or four years. Most of them do, now, with the shift from copper tubing to cheaper aluminum. Some of the designs are just as prone to corrosion but harder to spot well to repair, so they have to replace the whole coil. Lennox tends to charge you for labor even when the parts are under warranty. That's increasingly common today, as it's charging you for the refrigerant even if the bad part under warranty leaked at all. Lennox humiditrals tend to fall apart, especially the thermostat. I do not have one of their dehumidifiers. Double check, since many of their ACs have a companion dehumidifier, especially if you keep the AC in the basement or utility closet. I do not see what the problem with that would be, if I just end up cool and humid. You're more likely to get temperature cycling if that happens, because the unit gets colder than you want before turning off and getting too warm. If it is cycling like that, it is more likely because the compressor is bad, like a leak of refrigerant from the valves or pinholes in the compressor itself. The pressure switches go out about as often as the thermostats. And I'm assuming that none of these thermostat problems are because someone forgot to switch the house thermostat from heat to cool. One of the things you can do yourself for the compressor problem is adding a start kit. I know you can find those online and extend the life of the unit, but I might want a professional to do it. That's a couple hundred more than the start kit itself. At that rate, I might as well pay for the compressor. Condenser coils tend to leak too, and even if the warranty covers for that, the leak detection and refrigerant are not covered by the warranty. I cannot think of any warranty that covers refrigerant anymore. The hardest part of the warranty is getting a hold of the company to schedule service. They like to put you on hold for an hour or more, often shuttling you to voicemail, taking so long the warranty may be void before you get it serviced. That's a problem.